What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lord's mobile video and today guys we're going to be checking out this dude right here, Mr. Are You My Dad? <laughs> now he's under attack, in fact that whole hive is under attack by none other than RR and they've already set a couple of fake rallies on a couple of our castles that were unshielded and they also set a fake rally on him, just 8 troops and then a space appeared in the middle of the hive and Nettie here Pulled it in and took that space. So we can only assume they want to get closer because they want to fire a real rally off. Now, the thing about Are You My Dad's account is just first glance, you wouldn't normally rally it. It's over 700 million might. What? That's right, guys. Well, he has a lot of research done on his account and he doesn't have that many troops. In fact, he only has about 6 million T2 and a sprinkle, and I really do mean a sprinkle of T4. Not even a full march, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, it, and his anti-scouts off, he's waiting for it. Now what exactly is he going to do? Well, he's going to take some cavalry reinforcements because he is a cav rain trap, absolutely. Um, so what he's got is he's got the T2 range and the T2 infantry, like 3 million of each. And then he takes a full 1 million cavalry reinforcements. Which is interesting because I haven't really seen too many cav rain traps. I've seen a lot of infantry rain traps. But definitely not cav because most people don't like taking hits in cavalry formations. But he's going for it guys. So we'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how this rally goes. It's the first one I've seen him take since he joined POA. And we don't have to wait too long because they're starting to one troop now. Which means only one thing, that rally's on its way very soon. Okay, let's have a little look around. There's nothing else going on around this side of the battlefield, is there? No? All good? No one else is ported in? Okay. Looks like a single rally then. We'll see how we go with this one. Now, I believe Nettie's actually going to go full range. Because, like I said, she actually, or he, whoever you are, uh, actually can see what's going on inside that turf. Because anti-scout is off. And, you know, let's see what happens, guys. He's not going to wait around. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out, and bye bye troops. <laughs> so yeah, that one's gone. So he went ahead and ate that march, which was awesome stuff. He captured the leader. Brilliant. Now, like I said, I believe she sent range, um, and we didn't. We, we were some uh, cavalry phalanx, so amazing how it still managed to cap, because that's a full mythic rally leader right there, guys. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and give... Give that salute. We've got the Z with the cat emoji as well. In fact, let's go one better, guys. Let's just send a one troop over and send our smiley face there. There we go. <laughs> Actually, I think the salute would be for the guy that just took the rally. And the smiley face can be for Nettie. Awesome stuff. And are you my dad's actually ported back to the hive, guys? So he's ready and waiting for more. Of course, they know he's online now. But let's take a look at the report. So... Here we go, so 2.37 million troops sent, 955,000 red dead, 941 wounded on our side, but again, because it's reinforcements, no reds there, which is pretty good stuff, and it's capped, of course, looking pretty good, and we did need to heal, yes, that's the only negative side about these rain traps, the guild has to use a lot of resources to heal, but as long as you've got those resources, it's okay, you know, so there we go, check that out, I told you, it hasn't got a lot of troops, <laughs> <laughs> like a hundred odd thousand of range and cav and 64,000 fighters. It's really just those glads and sharpshooters that make up his account. But very, very effective with that million reinforcements there. His war heroes are pretty good too. Um, but that was the heroes that were sent from Neddy. Looking pretty sweet. I mean, as far as range marches go, it's not bad at all. Check out the Red Deads. This is the memorial service for RR right now as we scroll down. The list of dead. Scarrow, 120,000 T4 reds. Oh, I bet he's felt that one in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, looking pretty good. Check out my dude's heroes here. Look at this. Storm Fox, Songstress, Law Weaver. I mean, you know, he's got three decent army heroes there on the wall, which is awesome stuff. And as you can see, our wound is like 150,000 T4 each pretty much, which, you know, it does kick you in the side a bit with the resources, but it is what it is. And we managed to get it done, so it's awesome stuff. Right, okay. What happens next? Well, as you can see, 
we found out who some allies were of this guild. Because <laughs> within seconds, we had a double rally set on our guy. Now, this is where things can get interesting because taking one rally, okay, yeah, I mean, you can do that with a range trap. Taking two can be sketchy. You know, you do have to make sure you can maybe change formation or something like that. I mean, as you can see from the chat, he looks really confident. So I'm like, all right, all right, he's confident. Let's go ahead and uh, send in them reinforcements. You can see the people that are rallying. We've got Bro Brebute from SB. Uh, we scroll over to the other side of the map. We've got someone else as well. I think I've already shown that though. And then we go to Are You My Dad getting ready to fill up his reinforcements. Let's send him that cavalry. All right, so Scaro, I think, is the guy from the top. You just saw him as well. They've both got their speed gear on right now, guys. But there we go. Double rally is set. Interesting stuff, eh? Interesting stuff. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't really know, sorry, shall we say, if he's going to be able to take this or not. I'm curious about the reds. Uh, there you go. You can see uh, is it Kistro at the top. There we go. And then you've got the view at the bottom there. There's a, the, the scene is set, guys. The battlefield is set. But not quite finished because it's now a triple rally. <laughs> We got Scaro, sorry, from RR, Castro from DPS, Bro Repute from SB. The rally's been set. Now, triple rally. Now, this is this is serious now. Okay, so can a rain trap take a triple? Okay, so the top two have got timers. They're waiting for the bottom one to get his rally ready. Let's see exactly how this played out, guys. Okay, so are you ready? Have you got your milk and cookies ready, guys? You might need them for this. Here comes Scarrow from RR. Now, I'm wondering at this point, where are the other two rallies? There's not one coming from the north or the south. We've got the east side rally coming in. We just need the west side rally up in here. Where's that? But anyway, check out what happens, guys. This is insane, right? Check this. Here comes the first rally. He hasn't pulled it this time. He's just going to sit there. It gets closer and closer and closer and... He cancels at the last minute. What? Okay, so he's cancelled. I can't believe he cancelled. Unbelievable. But he did. But at this point, yeah, he's, he's, he's celebrating. The two other rallies are coming in now from the north and the south. Here they come at good timing. Could these rallies hit together? No, because the bottom one just cancelled. But the north one's still marching. Well, it was marching. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, he's got a very good eye for the battlefield. He saw those two other rallies cancelled. He pulled it out of there once he saw the last rally walk in, all on its lonesome, and he capped that rally. Oh, yes. Awesome, awesome stuff, I have to say. And then he comes back, which is even better. I love it when they do that. Oh, my God, what an awesome trap. And the good thing is, he actually took this on a different front line. Like, you can see, he's now switched to infantry wedge. He put all that cavalry at the back, which is really nice, actually, because it means we didn't actually take no losses or wounded, should I say, on that one. Still an amazing cap there, though, looking awesome. And as you can see, he put those 3 million gladiators on the front line. 512, sorry, 15,000 uh, injured there. They only sent 1.6 million T4, so... That's probably why he didn't have too many losses. If they'd have sent a full 2375 T4 march against that 3 million front line, I think he would have had definitely a quite a few more um, reds. But they didn't, so it don't really matter. Quite a weak rally sent at the end of the day. But still a cap, still beautiful stuff. And as you can see, yeah, 237,000 red deads, which in comparison, you know, isn't really a lot, guys. It really isn't. Um, unbelievable. I mean, to, to do this with 6 million T2... And a sprinkler T4 blows my mind a little bit, to be honest with you. Although, he's got the stats to back it up, guys. I know he's rocking some pretty good gear. So, you know, that's obviously going to help. If we go down and take a look here. Let's have a look. Where are we? Okay, we're good. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, guys, what did you think of that? That was pretty good stuff from an experienced player in Wars Lords Mobile that knows how to keep an eye on the battlefield. Watch what's going on at all times. Because of that, he now has an RR and a DPS leader. Awesome, awesome stuff. Wow. <laughs> hey guys, if you ever want to do this in Lords Mobile, there you go. You just need 6 million T2. Nice and easy to train. This guy down here has had enough. He's pulled it out. He's like, nah, I'm done. And Kaistro is probably up there wondering what on earth's going on. What went wrong, guys? How did this happen? I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and send him another emoji. There we go. We'll give him a smiley face. We won't give him a thumbs down. It was a good effort. And there you go. Have a nice smiley face emoji on me, buddy. <laughs> 
Awesome, awesome stuff. Loving it. And I think Zed is going to follow me in with another emoji. There we go. And he'll use the one I haven't got, which of course will be the cat emoji. <laughs> the dog ones weren't out at this stage. Otherwise, I totally would have used the dog one. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed this awesome capping action from POA. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And until the next time, guys, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everybody. And peace out.